Hey, what's up everyone? It's Donald back for a mage video today about red or about blunderbuss. This is a video about the best blunderbuss build that's gonna hit the hardest in the game, alright? You're never gonna hit hard like this with any other build in PvP and PvE. It's harder to build it for PvP. Maybe I'm gonna make a guide for PvP, but this one is mostly about the raid in pve and then you can take that build and apply it to pvp later if you want but i'm gonna let you know that later i may be gonna do this build for pvp because it seems fun and i'm pretty sure it's gonna work there's good movement there's good dps uh i really like it so today this is my second upload uh this morning i did a react video to a mage gameplay so if you like mage gameplay go look at this if you guys want me to react to your content just send it to me on discord give me your discord or my discord link gonna be into the description so let's get straight into it uh, what i did all right so the blunder boss got some attack that are fire Let, let's go look over there all right so the weapon mastery so this is a fire attack all right and then it apply burn and this is another fire attack and then this bomb that is exploding underground is a fire attack too all right so you can see that the blunder bus got some decent fire attack to fight the angry earth and this is one of the reasons why i propose it to you in reds it's gonna be still good into some other dungeon but into this raid and raid in general it's gonna be amazing and even if you do like uh if you put a diamond into it and you make like more physical dps build it will still do great dps but today this is more about the angry earth raid uh, about the gem into your armor and all that stuff because we all know that it can work in pvp too uh like as you can see fire harnessing and having the gem that gives you fire dps is gonna just boost your blunderbuss dps and into the gameplay that i'm gonna show at the end of this video you're gonna see me use that uh the blunderbuss and rapier and the run was so easy with that it was so good i was doing such a big dps and you know the tab target have something crazy that the people is not speaking about. You see, there's some bird ad that you need to kill that are like flying around. And when they are flying, nobody can hit them. But if you have musket, bow, uh, fire staff, uh, fire staff, maybe it don't work. Maybe musket, bow and blunderbuss. You can just put tab target on the on the bird and when the bird gonna fly you can just keep shooting at it with your with your musket and blunderbuss at work i did not try with the bow but i'm pretty sure the av attack of the bow is gonna be fast enough to reach the bird you know so with blunderbuss and musket it work you can still shoot the bird when he's in the sky and you don't even need to try to aim it you just tab target on i have a, t a key that i use to tab target on the side of my mouse right there and I put the tar target on when it's a bird and like even during the boss fight the tap target feel pretty good at the start you feel like you're kind of stuck into it and it's bad but when you get used to it it's not too bad you just have to learn to put it on and off and I think having the tap target on your mouse is good because you're going to be able to keep moving and shooting your ability while pressing the the tab target all right I can press three key at the same time on my on my mouse but if i want to move like this and then i press that target with my finger i'm not going to be able to to move and press the target into the direction exactly like you want all right it's still possible but it's not optimized the natsu watches speaks i know i keep selling it so i'm not going to selling too hard into this video uh 20 percent base damage so this is insane so uh the base damage is not an empower your empower cap to 50 percent your base damage have no like cap so 20 percent base damage is a lot but yeah you're gonna lose your empowerment so since you're gonna lose the time and power there's some special thing to do like if you go into the mass weapon mastery there you're gonna see that there's a ramp bonus 
So you're going to take off that RAM bonus because it's just not going to have any effect. And you kind of don't need it because you, you're still going to reach a good empowerment, all right? At the end, I'm going to tell you exactly how many empowerment you're going to reach. So, uh, this is not a best in slot build. This is just how to make your build hit hard. And I'm not, I don't care that much about defensive perk because I don't feel like I need the defensive perk. Uh, you better in my head to go with 100 con with big damage perk and the good build then go 5 con with a bad build no harnessing no damage perk all defensive perk and you know the 5 con dude is gonna do less dps than the 100 con dude because he have no jam into his weapon because he have no harnessing because he's using a shit weapon because you see he's playing medium armor because he have a bad ring because he have he don't have the amulet with the right protection so he need to have third three times more protection as you can see i have strike protection on my amulet for the the first boss in the raid second boss i have slash amulet and the third boss i have nature protection amulet all right so this is how you're gonna survive the most in total mutation you have a 50 percent resistance cap and trying to go over your 50 resistance cap it just make no sense so let's take um Elemental version as example, you have 50% cap elemental, so you see there's some shit like this that is useless and people just gonna constantly just keep proposing it to you, but they did not do real test about it and this is bad. So you see I have some useless perk like fire pillar because I use this on my, it's my fire mage build, my PvP fire mage build, but you know, you can just use it into the raid and it's working great, mostly for the last boss. You see, I'm all opal, so the last boss is mostly nature protection. So I'm surviving good at the last boss. I need to take care during the first boss. Uh, if I would not have this and the onyx, I would get one tap all the time. So this is why you need this amulet if you want to play with opal on your gear. If you don't have those amulets, I recommend to do it mostly with the diamond uh, on your gear it's going to be more versatile than the opal this is more like a pvp build that i made into a moment that there was a lot of uh, of elemental dps on the battlefield and you're going to see this is probably still like that there's a lot of ele elemental dps on the battlefield so my blunder boss keen vicious and ele uh, keen vicious and flame attunement i think would be like Top tier. I tried like um, the one that do more DPS into the head, like Vorpal, but most of the boss you cannot headshot them. So this is why I decided that Keen, Vicious, and Attunement is probably one of the best. Maybe there's a better. You can tell me if you think there's a better, but I think with Keen, Vicious, Attunement, you're doing right. And since I did not add the time or the money to craft it, I decided to, to look in my locker and there was this one. You know, this one uh, I do with the rapier, I'm doing more DPS on bleeding target. So I think this, when I apply it on a mob, I'm I'm gaining the, the, the percentage of DPS on the mob. So it's good for mobs fight. Sadly, there's probably going to be other people with Kini Jagged in your group. So Kini Jagged can only have one stack. So it's bad if you have other, you will only want you only want one kini jagged per raid and it's bad but at the same time if you are that one this is great so this blunderbuss is almost min max it would be better with a flame attunement you see my finisher i just don't use it whatever if if it's not upgraded it would change nothing because i'm not even using it this is repost evade and flesh it just to dodge around you know uh leeching rt king leeching gonna save your life many time uh instead of uh king maybe you can put some fire damage uh that would be great too but you know king is not too bad doing some critical is not too bad uh, you already have king on your blunderbuss so maybe you don't need it on the ring but you know this is what i have uh, maybe i have one with fire i think i have one with fire damage sitting somewhere but i might have to go look for that uh, since you have the natural watch piece, maybe that would be good. At the end, we're gonna count. Like, we can't count it right now, all right? 
You have your Onyx Stone, 7%. Arnest Sing, 10%. Jam, 10%. Uh, so then you have the um, Oblivion, 15%. You already almost cap if you look at this, um, and then there's a, a lot of other empower like the leadership that depend on your group. Uh, and, and you see, uh, like this, you're already cap, and then by having the ring, maybe you're gonna be over cap. So you need to take care to make sure that, like, if you use a ring with fire DPS on it, uh, maybe you're gonna take off some fire harnessing or something because you're gonna be over cap. Uh, that depends if you have leadership or not into your group. That depends if your healer is using the Oblivion or not. Because some healers are just like staying distance and healing, doing nothing good for you. So yeah, the earring is not that much important. I'm using Endless Thirst because, you know, I have it and it's pretty good. Uh, I'm using, I'm not using the Regen Serum. I'm using the Infused Regen so they have a lower cooldown. So uh, I use that. You cannot use gemstone dust or Oak flesh because it's going to take off your ward potion. Uh, so yeah, the ward potion are really, really important. I'm not going to show you. It's stupid if I show Ward potion, coating, and hunting stone. You want this for raid. And if you're using the small one, you're throwing for your group. Sorry to tell you that. All right. So the blunder boss, mainly strength, scale, scale of strength. All right. So let's go like this and put 350 because it's mainly scale of strength. So it's logic to put 350. And then you're just gonna add the rest. If you play 50 con, it's like this. I tried with the, the 50 con and it worked pretty good. You're probably gonna put your 9 point in Intel right there. And if you want to lower it, you see this is not a big uh, thing that you need right there. You don't need that. So I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to have to use another food because right there this is my intel food. So I'm just going to put uh, con food and reach 100 con and have the rest in intel. Like maximum 100 con, you never want to go more than that. If you're in PvP it's 200 but in PvP it's 100 con max. You don't need more than that. And you're going to almost throw your group if you put more than that. So yeah, this is it. Uh, pretty hard to see since um, that's good. I'm, a, I'm not gonna do it. You guys can do it. 100 con, 150 int, and the rest in 350 strength. Or like 350 strength, 100 con, and the rest in int. Alright? For the weapon mastery, I show it quick, but I'm gonna show it again. Alright? So for me, most of the stuff in there is important, and I'm in max set to do the most DPS as possible, as possible. And I, like, you can use ramp uh, if you don't have the natural watch chest piece. If you have the natural watch chest piece, you cannot use ramp. It's just not gonna function, all right? So you're not doing headshot that much. I would like to be able to abuse of that, but most of the boss you cannot headshot them. So I just focus on anything else that give me like dps but like pure dps that is not counted as an empowerment all right see deep load this is some pure dps right there some cooldown reduction that's gonna make you more dps and even more cooldown reduction you have the wine in there that help the people run faster if you throw it around the bus people are gonna have an easier time declump and dodge the stuff uh like the attack of the boss, whatever your team gonna have to move away from the boss or whatever the adds phase, they're gonna do it faster. There's a rand, there's a CC. The blast shot is an amazing CC. They fall on the ground during a long time, staggered. I like it. So this is my rapier build. Maybe uh, there's other stuff to do. You see, like I could, I, I could take this one and put this one instead. But you know. My goal is not to do DPS with the Rapier, so I just don't care. Like right now, the most important thing is the Fleshy, Evade and Repose and the rest doesn't matter. If you put this, it's not good because your goal is just to dodge. Your goal is to main the Blunderbuss and the Blunderbuss is going to do every, oh, everything you need. All right, all the DPS you need into a raid is into the Blunderbuss. Like this, this is amazing. Okay, 